Oh, wow. A P-72. Oh, man. I haven't seen one of these since I played. Is this your son's? It's mine, actually. Yeah? You play? Used to. I was going to be in the majors, but, uh, well. Hmm. Life has a funny way of not always working out the way we'd like, huh? You have any other kids? No, just Kyle. Where's your wife, if you don't mind me asking? We're separated. Hmm. You know, I got a buddy who runs a baseball camp up at the college, and if I put in a word for Kyle, I'm sure he'd give him a spot. He's sick. He stopped playing about a year ago. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Really. Now I'm ready to hit the road. Shouldn't be a bad ride. Hey, listen, man. It was good. Where'd you get this? Huh? Don't do that. Don't, Don't you fucking talking? do that. What, that? That that was on my car, on my windshield. What? Did, what? You've been following me around all day, haven't you? Uh, no, Brandon, I haven't. Yeah, you get me to invite you in. Tell you all my shit. What? Why are you here? Hey, because you left your keys in my car, man. You think this is funny? No, I don't think it's funny. I'm not a lawyer, but I could have been. And had I been, my briefs would have been the briefest. My objections would have been the most objectionable. And obviously, I would have finished at the top of my law school class. I'm not a doctor, but had I been one, I would have been great. My diagnostic skills, my bedside manner, my education, beyond reproach. I'm not an accountant either, but had I been, I would have been a hell of an accountant. I would have had the greatest appreciation for depreciation. I would have worked for Fortune 600 companies. If we were any of these professionals, our greatest concern would be finding, finding new, new business. business. There you go. Nice, I like it. Keep moving, move the feet. Good, get the hands up. What's this? <sighs> Open it up. It's a completo my mom made. Good. What's this shit on top? Can you just eat it? Nice. Mm. That's pretty good. When do you think I could get back in the ring? Oh, I don't know. It depends. Nice. All right. Uh-huh. Depends on what? A lot of things. You're injured. You know, separated shoulder is not a simple thing. It's tough to know when, but it's going to be a couple of months anyway. All right, take a break, guys. Good work. A couple of months? Yeah. You're messing with me, right? No, man. You got to get back in shape. You got to get back on the road, back in the ring, do some rounds. Look, you got to get gotta, your power back. I ain't got to do shit, man. Why do you want to box? So that people don't fuck with me. Wow. Where have I heard that before? You know, life just hasn't worked out the way I thought it would. Well, I know a little bit about that. It's hard to believe. <laughs> no. I mean... I take it you're not married either? No. No. Divorced? Mm, well... Something like that. Yeah, I'm really happy here. Well, you should be. It's beautiful. <laughs> Are you separated? Because I noticed your ring. I'm just curious. Yeah. My wife died. But... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Nothing I do. to be sorry Here about. I am asking you. <laughs> Nothing to be sorry about. It was a long time ago, and I don't. I. I, I don't even know why I wear the ring, but I haven't been able to take it off, you know? Sorry. All right, well, I better get going. Uh, yeah, um, I guess. Do you know your too. way home? Um, 
That way? Yeah. Okay, well, be safe. Grace. Yeah. Is it crazy to... I mean, I'd like to see you again. Could I do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a kid. <laughs> I know you have had great difficulty in your life. But I also know you are a good girl. And you will be rewarded. You are a princess. And someday you will be a queen. When my mom died, I inherited her annuity. And the payments were nice, but since I really didn't need them, it was like funny money. Then my wife's mother got Alzheimer's, and we made the difficult decision to move from our home in Arizona back to Minneapolis to give her the care she needed. Without jobs waiting for us, I turned to J.G. Wentworth. Could they convert the payments from my mother's annuity into a lump sum of cash to help finance the transition? They could, and the move back wasn't easy, but it would have been a heck of a lot harder without J.G. Wentworth. 16, my grandmother was working in a button factory, scrubbing commodes, emptying spittoons. Six miles she walked to work every day and back, rain or shine. Raised 15 kids, nursed my grandfather through lupus and lived in 98. God bless her. You know, she couldn't read much or write. That's the smartest lady you'll ever fucking meet. You don't make them like that anymore. Yo, shit for brains, you gonna get the door or what? Oh, I'm sorry, boss. What the sorry. fuck am I paying you for? Friend, it is merely a matter of semantics. Oh, listen here. I am no adherent of Lincoln. I opposed his election to the last, and I feel no partisan interest in the success of his administration. But I deem it a duty, a holy duty, to do all I can to sustain my country in this war on this hideous and hellborn rebellion. <laughs>